to be outstanding, pupils are very proud and committed to their school community. This is demonstrated by their enthusiastic promotion of a broad range of activities to improve the school and the wider community. Most groups of pupils are represented in taking on responsibilities. Pupils from a wide range of groups have a strong voice in decisions relating to their learning as well as their well-being. And finally, the students' involvement in the school and their interaction in the wider community are substantial and highly valued. If you think about it, the children of today are the adults of tomorrow. Um, so you need to be aware of what's happening around your school environment as well as in the community. These have some decisions, but ultimately the teachers should say what's going to happen and what you're going to do. There must be a level at which children shouldn't be involved, but for children who want to be involved in so doing, I think they should be encouraged to do so. I think they should be very involved. At the moment they've got like school councils, at least to express an opinion, even if it's not taken on board. I don't think they actually have that much power. Yeah. Like quite a lot of the decisions are overruled by the teachers, which is kind of not the point. If they're involved in making the decisions, then the decisions are likely to be carried out. As inspectors, we're very impressed if a school allows its youngsters to have a view, express that view, and then, most importantly, respond to the ideas of the students. We want to influence how the teachers um, control our education. I think that it's a good idea to let students have more of a say in how they learn, because if you're having fun while you're learning, then you're learning better. I want to influence how the school is run. So children have more say. I think students can be involved in big decisions but I think there'd have to be a limit to how much they can actually decide for school. I think the parents might not um, really go with it because they don't think their children are mature enough to manage like a whole school. The school should in fact respond to what the students are discussing and talking about, asking about, requiring and also perhaps criticising sometimes. If you're talking about learning in the classroom I would think students should have certainly a 50-50 say with the teacher. Um, whether it's, we've got to ask the question, you know, in year seven particularly, do you know best? And I think certainly as you went up the school, we'd like to address how much say you've got in how you learn and what you learn. If somebody was told in our school, yeah, you have the power to decide how you learn, what you learn and when you learn. If they didn't really care about school, they didn't really care about how they learn, they just thought, oh, great, this is an opportunity to mess around a bit, have fun, make the teachers annoyed. Then if a teacher asked them to do something, they could refuse by saying something like, well, actually, I'm deciding how I learn, so you can't tell me that I have to do this because I think I learn better that way. It's a kind of partnership with the teacher in the ideal world, 50-50. But I'd also say we've got to educate our teachers a bit as well. And you'll know some teachers are more amenable to listening to what you want than others. There are various opportunities for student voice at Ilford Grammar School, either through the tutor reps or indeed through the school council. And in addition to that, my office door is always open, as indeed is Mrs James is the head. A student council is there to really decide what's going to happen and how to do it as such, and they'll decide what's best and they will have their own ideas and their own views and their own plans of what's happening and they probably won't need more ideas from students. It seems to me that students in the council are being manipulated by teachers to use their ideas because the teachers said their ideas are better. I think the teachers use the student council as a vehicle to get their own views across but through the students, making it look as if the students have had those ideas but yeah, it's actually though of a teacher's ideas in disguise. Hardly ever the ideas from the actual student council are used and even if they are they're only for small things like soap dispensers instead of small bars and soap. It's your school isn't it? Yeah. So therefore if there are things happening in the school that seem to be getting in the way of those ambitions it wouldn't be sensible in a good democratic school for you to sit quiet and not talk about it and for the staff of the school not to want to know about it. 
Now the difficult thing is what you do about it when those two voices are heard and come together. I'd like to think that everything that goes in and out of the student councils under the tutor reps meeting for that matter is indeed student voice because that's the whole idea of it. Is if a student wanted to make a change in any way at all they'll have to compete with tutor reps and tu head of years and Mrs James and all the government who are in there and they make decisions, decisions and if you wanted this decision to be made and you wanted the change to happen you'll have to go for an awful lot to make a change happen. People had really good and big ideas when it was first introduced because it was all, oh wow, brand new. But now it's sort of fizzled out because all the schools have got it. So it needs to be something bigger, better and newer so that we can have more impact. We do try and put some of the things in place, things like an extra water fountain. We've tried to do things with school dinners. You might see nothing really coming from that, I think. Student voice is very important at Ilkley Grammar School, but it's one thing saying it, and another thing doing it completely. It's far too easy and complacent for students to sit back and expect members of staff to take the lead in it, following them from their ideas. But the whole idea of a student voice is they say and they do, not just say. Maybe sometimes not the ones who volunteer and are public spirited should automatically be on the school's council. Sometimes a rebel or two on the school's council, a rebel with a cause, a rebel with a voice, is useful because they will sometimes be prepared to say things that sometimes, not always, other students might not be. I talked to you maybe at some point about how you elect your school council reps, because is it just somebody who, you know, big and brash in the form gets voted? Is it the goody-goody who gets voted? The school's council is a good thing, don't misunderstand me, it's an important thing. Uh, but it needs to be a critically aware group, I think, as well. You'd have to have a trial, so each student who wants to be on a student council gets get a certain amount of power and you can see what they do with it. I think I'd prefer maybe some more year councils that then fed into a school council, so there's a kind of stepped, I suppose, approach maybe to how leadership would work and how you could have a say. I think I'd like some of you to maybe have a bigger say and maybe school council reps on things like the school governing body. I believe that as children uh, develop through school and gain self-confidence, they'll gain that self-confidence by being involved in running school and other affairs. And so the more they can handle, the better. However, knowing my children as I do, I suspect if they have a, a large hand in running their own affairs at school, they won't be educated. If we didn't have guidelines, children would be out of control and we wouldn't be able to learn much because most of the time we wouldn't be having any lessons, we'd just be in the playground. In the schools that are approaching outstanding, then they spend a lot of time as members of the schools council and also other, as I've indicated, groups within the school as students talking about the way they enjoy learning most, most of all and because if they're enjoying it the chances are they'll, it'll be effective learning. It shouldn't be just about you come into school, you take your registration then you just do five lessons while you're sitting in silence and the teacher's telling you. You should be able to give your ideas to it and be able to think creatively. Well, some schools I know have students who observe lessons for example. And I'm not necessarily averse to that and I think it's a debate I'd like to have because we've got some fantastic students and I'm not sure we have enough leadership opportunities, if I'm absolutely honest with you. The teachers should be learning what they're doing because students should be able to help them. We had some Year 8 students came to talk to our learning and teaching governor group and they talked about their learning and they talked quite frankly, not naming teachers, about what they thought a good teacher was like and where they learnt best and governors were very impressed. It's a way of getting better people skills because you're, you've, when you're older and you start a job you have to be able to talk to new people and meet new people and build positive relationships with them. We're all part of Ilkley Grammar School whether a teacher, um, an associate staff member, a student, um, someone in the kitchen um, and if we're all in, the, in it together perhaps we've got to, to work together for the best interests. We never have an assembly with um, the head teacher or hardly ever um, so we don't really know her um, so I think it will be easier to engage with her and have a conversation about this when we knew her a bit better. But the school is the students, it's not the building or the rest of us really, it's your future and I think if you want to have a say in your future and I think that's right that you do then perhaps we need to listen a bit more. Teachers are very good at talking, aren't they? So of course it's going to have an influence on the way you turn out as a person. And if you can articulate your ideas clearly 
and share them with other people and keep you cool when people disagree with you and win debates by argument, that is a life skill.